Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. What is your name? My name is Titash. I'm from Bangladesh. Titash, and you're from Bangladesh. Okay. My name is Becky, and I am from the United States, from Kentucky. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Today, I would like to talk to you about color. Okay. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is yellow. Let me show you. And why? Let me show you. Let me get you something here. Uh, why do I like yellow? Let me show you yellow. That is my favorite color. Can you see that? Can you tell? Yeah, that's nice. That's yellow. Red fish. What? There is a written uh, content, red fish. Red fish. Oh, yeah, there's fish. a red fish. Yeah, right. There's a red fish. Okay. So what's your favorite color? Uh, my preference varies for different purpose. Uh, for example, uh, when choosing clothes, I tend to go for blue. blue. Uh, since uh, blue goes well, my skin tone. Okay. For house decoration, I would prefer white as it creates peaceful vibe for the room. So your favorite color to wear is blue. Blue, you're because right. Because it goes well with your skin tone. Right. But what? when do you like white? Uh, when I'm going to uh, work for interior in my room. Okay. Uh, are, are there any color you dislike? Mm. Is there any color I dislike? Uh, I don't... I... I don't love green. In my country, pink stuff was uh, for girls. Uh, white blue for uh, blue things for boys. White and blue. Uh, so that uh, white. Yes, please. White and blue for boys. They wear several color dress, but especially pink stuffs only for preferable color of our girls so that uh, I don't like that color you don't like because pink color there's mostly oil girls right. and that's the way it is here too a lot now some men will wear a pink shirt but like when when someone's going to have a baby and they decorate the room the baby's room if they know the baby's going to be a girl, they usually use pink. If they know the baby right. is going to be a boy, they will usually use blue. For the for right. The this, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is your country culture, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, are there any color that have a special meaning in your country? Um. Uh, there is, like for religious reasons, a lot of time you, you ref, uh, like red is like the blood that Jesus shed, but that's, that's, and white means purity, like it's, it means you're, you're pure. Uh, black is kind of, uh, some people, when they, when they're, uh, really strange people. They'll wear a lot of black and they wear black makeup and so black means kind of, it's kind of a dark color and, and means you're that kind. But uh, there's not, uh, are there in your country? Are some of the? Yeah, in my country almost all colors are associated with something. A short of red color uh, symbolize uh, um, people uh, when they are going to the party or any occasion. Uh, they uh, it can be wedding party. Uh, that times uh, 
people wear usually red color dress uh, in contrast black black usually we wear um, black actually it seems uh, the color of death mm -hmm. uh, people often wear black color or uh, clothes uh, of funeral okay to a funeral yes now they do here no, to too. a lot of times they will wear black to funerals what color are suitable for formal occasion for formal occasion any color works i mean you you can wear you can wear white you can wear black you can wear yellow you can wear any color for a formal occasion now if you're getting married most most of the time the the bride will wear white Okay. So if you're having a, this is a gown, right? It's a gown. Yes, it's a long gown usually. Sometimes, depending on if it's in the summertime, sometimes it may it may be just below her knees, but most of the time it's a long gown. Yes. Yeah. And they're usually white. Okay. Yes, uh, in my country, uh, almost the same. Uh, when you go to the party. Mm -hmm then uh, you can wear any color of dress okay. there is no specific uh, color you should wear but usually people wear blue gray black those color dress people usually wear mm -hmm. and if i say something about a traditional event like the festival days that times if people try to wear lighter or brighter color dress. okay what color would you choose to paint the walls of your room okay that's a good question uh at my house all of my walls are white now at my okay. when i before i painted them white they were a gray color a light gray because if you if you paint your room a dark color it makes your room look smaller if you paint your room a light color, it makes your room look larger. Okay, right, right. And also, I'm a big fan of simplicity. Mm -hmm. uh, so white is, uh, my room color is, you know, is a white color. So it's feel me relaxing. So I try to use a lighter color mm -hmm. in my home. Can color have any influence of people and their mood? I think it can because if you, and I actually call, my husband laughs at me when I say like orange and yellow and red, I'll say those are happy colors. That's how I refer to them. And to me, angry colors are black and gray and brown. Those, to me, they just seem angry. But happy colors are bright <laughs> colors, yellows and reds and and blues. So I think yes, they can. Because if you if you if your house was all dark brown all the time, that would you'd walk in and it's just yeah. <laughs> yes, you're right. 